Let's build a PC. So I'm so excited to build this PC. This is a collaboration between Asus ROG and Evangelion. And this particular set is themed after Asuka Langley and her mech, the Ava 2. If you guys aren't familiar with these characters, well, it's from the anime called Neon Genesis, Evangelion. It first aired back in 1995 in Japan and came to the US in the early 2000s. I literally watched this growing up. Now let's go over the parts and let's start with the motherboard. So you have the ROG Maxima's Z790 Hero. Supports a newer gen Intel CPUs, supports DDR5. It has all the same specs as the regular one, but it's Ava themed. And man, is this one of the best looking motherboards I've ever seen. Next is a beast of a part. This is the ROG Strix Gaming 4090. <laughs> and it's the overclocked edition. Oh yeah. And with this thing, you get 24 gigabytes of video memory. For ports, you're looking at 3 display port 1.4 and 2 HDMI 2.1. I just gotta say, this is the coolest graphics card I've ever had. Anime, it looks good. I love it. Another thing to note, this thing is bigger than my forearm and it's pretty hefty. I could use this as a weight to work out. Next is the cooler, the Ryujin 3 360 ARGB. And, and you guys really gotta check out this packaging. It's like banger part, banger part, banger packaging. Like look at this, you have separated compartments. One for the fans and the other one for the radiator. And you know, of course the fans are gonna be red. And these have a neat feature that I'll be showing later on. So for the radiator, you have the nice ROG and Evangelion collaboration logo right here, as well as the pump. This is a pretty thick pump. Because you have the pump and then the LCD screen. But nice attention to detail here because you have AVA 2 on the fan itself in a place that you wouldn't really see. Also on the sides of the screen, you can see ROG and the ASUS logo on the side. These little attention to details are just great. All right, the next part is the ROG Hercule X, or sometimes I like to say Hercule X. And if you guys don't know what this is, this is literally to hold up the GPU. By pulling up, you can extend it, and it also has a little slider for micro adjustments. Oh, I also have all the peripherals, and what I wanna do is make an all ASUS theme setup. And if that's something you wanna see in the future, let me know in the comments. Okay, so what this set didn't have was RAM. I got the Corsair Dominaire Titanium. I think this was the most challenging thing to pick out because I wanted to get RAM that would actually fit the mech theme. I also picked up two Samsung 990 Pros, each being two terabytes, because I just know I'm gonna be using all that space. And now the case. This is a beast of a case. This is the ROG Hyperion case. And when I tell you this case would eat your case, I'm not even kidding. I'm not gonna lie, I may or may not have pulled my bag while getting this out the door. But in the box, you get a nice themed Evangelion box, which actually has a bunch of neat things. You have extension cables, and this thing comes with a little case that holds small parts like the screws that I'll definitely be using later. You also get a vertical mount and a screwdriver, and I'll be showing you where that goes. You get your basic paperwork, and I just gotta say, the way they pack this case is really nice. Puzzle piece foam is great. Okay. <laughs> this thing's heavy. Ooh, look at that. We got this, we got this, okay. Ah, eh. I recommend having someone help you with that. I guess with this build, I'm definitely getting a workout. Now that we unpacked the case, let's talk about it. This thing is huge. It can support dual 420 radiators, four 140 millimeter fans. You also have a built-in hub. And this thing will house any graphics card you put in it. It's that big. The glass panels on these are super easy to use. They just open and come off. There's a built-in storage drawer, some nice AVA 2 aesthetics on the inside on the power shroud, and a glass panel of the AVA 2 unit. And also these coordinates, if you know, you know. And the GR701 case is just made out of really high quality material. And with a special edition one, there's a lot of small details that might go unappreciated unless you really look at it. So on the back part of the PC, you have this red plastic cover, and this is there to help cover the cables. To do the cables, we have to remove this. And like I said, we're gonna be using this small case. We also have to take off the top, remove the storage drawer, and then the PSU shroud. That way we can work at the case a lot easier. Since we have the case all prepared, now we can work on the motherboard. And first thing we're gonna do is install the CPU. The CPU we're gonna be using is an i9-13900K. So plop it in and clamp it down. Let's also not forget to remove the plastic. And now let's put in the RAM. Installing this RAM was actually pretty simple. I didn't have to fight with the RAM this time. Usually it's a lot harder to push down. Next, let's install the M.2 SSDs. First, we gotta remove the plastics. M.2 SSDs is one of the simplest things you can do. And you definitely wanna make sure to get all the plastic off. Oops, I forgot to peel this. Now that the motherboard's done, let's take a look at the back. So this is something I actually didn't know was on the back of the board till I got it. This is actually a really cool detail that they included, even though you're not gonna see it when you put the motherboard in, but at least we're seeing it now. 
Okay, so let's slide the motherboard in and screw it all in. A cool thing to note is you get the ROG Hyper M.2 card with this motherboard. So if you need more storage, here you go. You also get a keychain, which I'll be using for my keys later. Next thing I wanna do is install the radiator, but check out these fans. They magnetically walk together, which is a feature I love on fans because it daisy chains them and it's just so easy with just one cable. I also wanted to get these images in the same order as the graphics card, as you can see here. Then we screw on the fans to the radiator. Now we have to mount the radiator. I'm gonna be securing it to the top of the case, which is simple enough. Next, we gotta get the LGA 1700 bracket in so we can put the AIO on. And before that, we have to apply thermal paste. And I'll be using Thermal Grizzly. And if you are gonna apply your own thermal paste, make sure to wipe off the stock thermal paste first. Then we gotta install the pump, slap on the screen, and route the cables a little bit. Now let's install the GPU. And this thing's a massive card. If you are gonna be using this case specifically, I recommend to get a screwdriver like this, because you're not gonna be able to unscrew and screw in the screws on the side unless you have one. After that, let's prep the PSU. And the PSU I'm using is the NZXT C1200. In the future, I'm hoping to switch this out for the actual Evangelion PSU, but we'll see. Slide it in, slap on the PSU shroud, then the storage drawer. And this is where the screwdriver goes and close it up. Now for the GPU holder. So all you gotta do is lift this up. If you need to do some minor adjustments, just turn the wheel. Slide the top panel back on, screw the cable cover back on, put the glass panels on. If you are gonna use this case and you need to move it around, I highly suggest taking off the glass panels first because it'll definitely make it lighter. Because of everything in this PC, it is heavy. The case alone is 45 pounds. Take off the plastic and the sticker and cross your fingers that it powers on. And there we go. The ASUS Evangelion 2.0 build. Honestly, this is the coolest PC I've ever built. It's anime themed, and I definitely know it's the heaviest. Huge shout out to ASUS for sponsoring this video. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the build. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.